a big hello to YouTube and all my friends and anybody who's new. We got to talk about this. It's about a week old article, well, about nine days. I chose this one off the Christian Science Monitor, as you can see. Remember, I've said before, it's like a cosmic chess game. Evil makes a move. God counters the evil move. Evil sees God's move. Evil tries to counter God. But what we have here is a artist's rendition of a proposed statue which a bunch of Satanists have applied to places that are state capital here in Oklahoma. We have a monument of the Ten Commandments at the state capital, and they would like to place this right next to it. As your little, pretty short little article, but descriptive and to the point, states Satanic group unveiled designs for a seven foot tall of Satan. Wants to put it at the state capitol where the Ten Commandments mon monument was placed in 2012. This satanic group, based in New York, they submitted their application to a panel that oversees the capitol grounds. This is depicting Satan as Baphomet, a goat-headed figure with horns, wings, and a long beard, often used as a symbol of the occult. He's sitting in a pentagram adorned throne. Just so happens he's got smiling children next to him. This monument has been designed to reflect the views of Satanists in Oklahoma City and beyond. Yeah. Their spokesman's name is Lucian. Kind of an off spin of Lucifer, huh? Wonder if that's his real name or he took that name. It will also have a functional purpose as a chair where people of all ages may sit on the lap of Satan for inspiration and contemplation. The Satanic Temple maintains that the Oklahoma Legislature's decision to authorize a privately funded Ten Commandments monument at the Capitol is basically why they're doing it, open the door for its statue. <clears throat> the Oklahoma chapter of the American Civil Liberties Union has sued to have it removed. And I believe I believe I read in today's paper that there is an atheist group that is also trying to get in on this. And I believe the atheist group wants to put their little atheist monument there. Then there's a couple little podunk groups that are just smear groups just spitting in the face of God that want to put a, a little podunk monument of their own there. As you can see, there's a little video here you can watch off this site, and you can hear their little ideas they've got. Oh, here they are. There's a Hindu leader in Nevada who made a request. Yeah, he wants to put a monument there for the Hindus. And the sat this is the satirical church of the flying spaghetti monster. God is not going to be pleased with any of these people. So they placed a moratorium considering any new request, which is just, uh, it's probably going to just amount to a delay. You can still make it, but they're going to hold off on considering it until the lawsuit is over with. And it, you know, people here, well, to be honest, m most people I've talked to are definitely against this satanic monument. But unfortunately, 
there are some that don't think right but they don't really care you know they kind of chuckle and laugh and you know, make fun of it but they do not see the error of their ways and yes that's true I've heard and read many things about this that they've already got twenty thousand dollars or half of the twenty thousand dollars I actually read that they had about sixteen thousand dollars already raised so they, the funding is almost there and they'll get they'll get the funding believe you me on its website the satanic temple is saying it is seeking to separate religion from superstition by acknowledging religious belief as a metaphorical framework which you construct a narrative context for our goals and works and they are saying Satan stands as the ultimate icon for selfless revolt against tyranny free and rational inquiry the responsible pursuit of happiness lies lies and more lies now <clears throat> this is just another classic example folks of what is going on all over the world there's evil all over the world the moral decay of this country and its people and from what I see all over the world but speaking of where we live in the USA is going really fast it is decaying and getting worse people are not returning to good beliefs there are those that are but it seems like more are not they are more of the world and this guy God gave him to some type of dominion to a degree remember he tempted Christ with all the kingdoms of the world so we are left with a choice and here's your choice there's only two right or wrong good or evil the Lord or the devil it's always been just two choices what choice are you going to make or have you already made one do you know somebody that needs to make one nothing's worse than losing your soul everybody will make a choice if you haven't made it you will at some point You need to think long and hard about what's going on. This is just a little tidbit that has wormed its way into my state. I always knew there were uh, satanic groups in, in the larger cities. There's probably one right here in my town that I don't know about. But when you start erecting statues like this, you're in dangerous territory, definitely. I'm, I'm stunned by it, actually. When whenever I saw this article, it just it just floored me. Now the terrible, the more terrible thing of it is 
I got a bad feeling that when this moratorium's over, and this lawsuit is done, the way things are going, probably the Supreme Court of Oklahoma is probably just got that bad feeling that they're going to say either remove the Ten Commandment, mo Commandment Monument from the Capitol and there'll be no monuments placed there at all. That's choice A they can make. Or B, they can say, well, if they have the right to put a monument there, then all different religions have the right to put monuments up. So, I just got a feeling that if they let that Ten Commandment monument stay, they're going to end up giving the okay for them to build this monument. So I hate to say it. I wish they had some gonads, some testicular fortitude, to say no to this monument, to say no to the Hindu, to say no to the flying spaghetti monster, to say no to everything else that is not of the Lord. I'd even go as far as to say, maybe, maybe, I would even hope that they might say, take the Ten Commandments mod monument down, no monuments at all, if it would prevent this monument, this blasphemous monument of this ass, this rebel, this cause of all the world's problems from the beginning of man if it would prevent that from going up there I wouldn't be happy to see the Ten Commandments mo monument taken down but if it prevented this one from going up I could be hip with it Well, if they do put it up, <clears throat> I hope that people group together, Christians, God lovers, the faithful, somehow, some way, I would hope if they let it go up that they get rid of it. And I would hope that if they ever tried to put another one up, that every time they did, they'd keep getting rid of them. we got to stand together. And I just really can't tell you how disgusted I am that a, a satanic arm all the way in New York City, New York, is reaching down here to the Midwest wanting to place their mark their little God monument their little Satan monument next to something like the Ten Commandments no, no monuments of this guy should ever be allowed but you know they are So what do you guys think? What is your thoughts on it? Hmm? You see how things are going. Not to mention, uh, they recently, it's probably going to be allowed, but they've also recently uh, said it was unconstitutional to ban gays from being married here so it's not going to be a surprise when that goes through <clears throat>